In this video, we're going to see how to set up email accounts and email signatures. First of all, let's take a look at how Brightpell sends emails. The first scenario, which is the default configuration, is where we send the emails from a Brightpell server, but on behalf of your mail server. Now, because we're not actually using your mail server, this email is more likely to be recorded as spam, unless you add what's called an SPF record, and I'll come back to that in a short while. The second option is how to set BrightPerl up to connect to your mail server and actually use your mail server to send the email. This gives it maximum chance of delivery. It also appears in your mail server sent items and we connect to your server by what's called SMTP. If we take a look at the first option, which is the default BrightPerl configuration, where BrightPerl is going to send emails on behalf of your mail server, we recommend you add an SPF record and the SPF record is added to your domain name configuration. It gives BrightPearl servers permission to send email on your behalf. For more information, search the BrightPearl documentation for SPF records, and to see how to add an SPF record to your server, have a look at your domain name configuration instructions. The SPF record you need to add for BrightPearl is at the bottom of the screen. What's far more preferable, however, is to add connections between the BrightPearl servers and your mail servers and these connections are called SMTP accounts. You set up connections and then you assign them to staff members. So from the setup area, go to Company, Email Accounts, and then add your SMTP accounts here. I'll show you the one I've already set up, where you add an SMTP host, you add the company name that it's going to come from, the from email address, the login username for your SMTP server, and of course the password, and then the port and whether you're using SSL or not. Once you've added the account, the next thing you need to do is test the settings. So let's just click Test. BrightPub will try to connect to your account, and if everything's OK, you'll get a green tick. It's now ready to assign to your staff members. So let's go to Staff, List Staff. Select a staff member, and from here you can choose the email account. And here you can see that different staff members can share a single email account. And that's useful perhaps in the support or the sales scenario where all outbound email needs to come from a single email address. Here's also where you can choose to add a signature for this particular staff member, and note that signatures are different per user, not per email account. Next time this user sends an email from BrightPearl, it'll be sent using that SMTP connection, so it'll show the from details that you entered, rather than the staff member's personal email address. If you actually wanted to, you could tick this box here to send it from your email, to override that setting. So let's click Send, and then go across to the recipient's inbox, where we can see that the email has come from Indosports. Let's click into that, where we can see that the reply to email address is the one that you entered as your SMTP account. Not all emails are sent by a staff member. There are a couple of other scenarios, such as password reminders or internal order status updates, and these are sent from BrightPell servers. So we'd recommend you add SPF records anyway, just to ensure that these emails do get delivered. So there we go, that covers everything you need to know about email accounts and email signatures.